guys, and welcome back to the worst keto cooking show on the internet. So, as I record this, it is December 27th. I'm two days removed from Christmas, and uh, yeah, I think we can all agree that we probably went a little crazy this year after 2020 has been something that no one saw coming. Get it? Because 2020 vision. Ah, 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 you get it, you get it. Anyway, Christmas went a little, uh, a little crazy and a little, I ate way too much. And I really overdid it on the carbs. I think a lot of us did. So, what I'm gonna do is a few days of zero carbs. So, for example, today I had uh, nothing but hamburger patties and bacon. Just pure meat for a few days just to get myself back in ketosis. Uh, I've always found that whenever I kind of screw up and I cheat a little bit, if I have a good heavy workout, if I fast a little bit and have a day or two of eating nothing but meat, I'm usually right back where I need to be within two or three days. So today we're going to be making a really delicious, really simple recipe. And whenever I say simple, I mean the prep time on this is going to be less than the intro to this video. So I'm going to be making some air fryer. Uh, chicken thighs. It's going to be a very simple recipe. I'm going to show you how I like to use uh, Frank's Red Hot as a base, season everything, what I use as my seasoning, and we're going to have a really good, simple dish you can have with almost anything because it's chicken. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really simple. There is not a whole lot of work involved in this. So let's go to the kitchen and I'm going to show you guys how to make this really quick. All right, so let's do our ingredient roll call real quick. My sister got me this for Christmas, and who doesn't love Ron Swanson? Magnificent man with a magnificent mustache. So we're going to be using some Frank's Red Hot, and in here I've got one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to mix all of these together. Hmm. Seems like we're kind of missing something. Oh, uh, yeah. Chicken thighs. We are going to be using the Frank's Red Hot as our batter. And then we're going to get all these guys coated on there. Let's go. So you hear people talk all the time about how simple a recipe is. And that is going to be the case with this. So we're going to take our seasonings. Dump them in a Ziploc. Get it nice and powdery. We're gonna take our chicken. And use Frank's Red Hot as our base. Rub that on top of it. Pick them up. Make sure we're going to coat it on each side. I'm sure, there's a better way to do this, but. Now we're going to take our chicken thighs. Throw them in the Ziploc. Shake it up.
You'll see right there, we're getting that seasoning on all of these. Especially that bottom guy. So now, I'm gonna go over here to the air fryer. Oh, take you up a little bit. place our chicken thighs in. Literally the easiest recipe we could possibly do. And there you go. The Chicken thighs are in the uh, the basket, and let's see here. I'm gonna put these guys on for about 20 minutes at 380 degrees. We're gonna let those cook, and we'll check them after 20 minutes. See how they're doing. All right, so the air fryer just dinged, so our 20 minutes is up. Oh, those look good. Oh, uh, let's see here. Not quite as crispy as I'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back in here for another, uh, let's do five minutes and then we'll check on them. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Crying out loud. There we go. <laughs> Do another five minutes on these. We'll check up on them then. All right, the extra five minutes is up, so let's check these guys. Oh, that is pretty. So, let me back up a little bit. I've got a little wire rack right here. I've got my chicken thighs. I'm gonna set these right here, let these guys drip dry. Last little bit. Fat, ease off those guys. So I'm gonna let these cool and then I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm back. So, um, I left these guys in the air fryer for about 30 minutes total. Um, the skin on there got really nice and crispy. However, it's no longer on there because I've already eaten it. Chicken skin's the best part. So I prefer using chicken thighs. I feel like the extra fat that's in there, it just has a much better flavor, especially whenever you hit it with some garlic, some turmeric, some paprika, you throw it in the air fryer, put in some hot sauce, it just, it tastes so much better. So I hope you guys give this a shot. Let your chicken get nice and crispy like I did mine. Hit it with a little bit of blue cheese, as I've mentioned before, keto candy. Leave me a comment down below. Comment and tell me what you'd like to see me try making next time. Um, these videos, like I've said before, this keeps me responsible with my diet. So this is as much for me as this. This is only for me. The three people that watch this, I appreciate you. Um, follow me on Instagram at Dirty Keto Mercer. Leave me a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Let people know about this so we can double the viewer count from three to six. I will see you guys on uh, Fast Food Friday this week. God bless and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.